People trying to buy illegal drugs in Johnson County are going to have a harder time finding a supplier after the Joint Task Force started arresting street-level drug dealers. Our crime bear reporter Steve Jefferson is in Franklin tonight with a look at the people arrested, and some of them might surprise you. These are some of the photographs of the suspected drug dealers here in Johnson County who are now in big trouble. A joint task force from the county and state worked with Franklin police this morning serving 50 arrest warrants. Undercover narcotics officers posted their photos and kept track of the arrests on this board. By mid-afternoon, 30 of the 50 were accounted for. They are suspected of dealing meth, heroin, and marijuana in Johnson County over the past year. Confidential informants helped identify the drug dealers in some cases. Investigators are bothered that so many women are now dealing drugs. It's troubling to see that probably half of these photographs behind us are females. It just goes to show you how much uh, the drug trade or the drug business has taken over uh, families. We have a lot of people that are dying, not only in this county, but in other counties throughout Indiana from heroin issues. The women caught dealing drugs around their children will face stiffer charges. Investigators will continue to look for the suspected drug dealers who are not in custody, but urge them to turn themselves in here at the police department. In Franklin, I'm Steve Jefferson. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Steve. And they put together a complete spreadsheet showing the photos of the 50 people targeted in Johnson County with drug dealing. Now, in some cases, both husband and wife are in trouble. 20 of those people remain on the streets tonight, and you can see pictures of all 50 of them at our website, WTHR.com, right now.